unconventional method news submitted by Two in the Stink. Ew. <laughs> Several prisons have painted their jail cells pink as a way to curb aggressive behavior. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, I think one of the state prisons in Arizona, all the jumpsuits are pink. Really? There's one in, yeah. in Texas, um, but this one they're talking about several Swiss prisons that they have painted their jail cells a color called cool down pink. And this is based off of some research that happened a while back saying that, in, or in the 70s, saying that the power of color really, it really um, affects you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's a psychology behind colors for sure. Yeah, it really affects your behavior, your mm -hmm. human behavior. They say that pink lowers the amount of testosterone in dudes. In men, especially the Pepto Bismol kind of pink. Yeah, so <laughs> this is the cool down Dude, pink. That's my favorite kind. Pepto. This one. Mm. That's a that's Pepto Bismol. That's a cute gel cell. You know. I feel like I'm in a donut shop or yeah. some ice cream shop. Yeah, I feel like they should all come out wearing like cute little dresses and aprons. But and they stuff. do have pink jumpsuits. That's cute. Yeah. It might make them too horny. Right? Well, yeah, it sure. lowers the testosterone. It feels like an Instagram fucking star's yeah. like place to take a photo shoot. Yeah, that's true, like Melrose. I feel like it'd be hard to get in a fight in a place like that. Yeah, well, I mean, there's. Can you imagine being is... stabbed in a place like that? Maybe in How a Wes Anderson weird. movie. Oh. Like where there's like blood that gets splattered, but it's on a pink wall and it's on a like wide angle lens. There's gotta be a bunch of picture frames yeah. everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, they're saying that this is the. So back in the 70s, that's when they had this more brighter pink, and they were calling it Baker Miller pink, and that was the go-to anti-aggression pink, until uh, they decided to conduct more color experiments on inmates, and this time they found the calming pink, the Pepto-Bismol pink. Oh, so interesting. But yeah, the, the first pink was a hot pink. So they were all hot-tempered. <laughs> I just think of the Homer Simpson donut. Oh yeah. I wear different colors every day, and today is a pink day. Oh, that's Where's where you have your pink. pink. Yeah, your hair tie. Oh, and your watch too? Yeah. Pinky pinky. You know, when you told me about your color days, I thought it'd be like the full thing. Oh, yeah, no. Well, I mean, it can be, but sometimes I don't have a lot of pink full clothes. What's the science behind that? It was like numerology and like certain colors, like based on your numerology, like help you during the day. For me, it's just like it's easy, easy way to pick an outfit or accessorize or whatever. And then it also is like a little reminder for the day. So it's like each color has a different meaning. So pink is success. Um, so it's just like a feel good type of success day. Like you're gonna be successful today. They're succeeding. And then, hmm? Yeah, succeeding, yeah. And then, um, then tomorrow's pastels, which is like a letting go. It's like a letting go vibe. Oh, and it could so. be any color, just as long as Yeah, as long as it's pastel. And it could be a mixture of different pastels and stuff. But it just reminds you like, oh, what am I gonna let go of today, you know? Like you're constantly you working. The next day, yeah. Oh, that's good. You take a shower mind. I yeah. mean, a mind shower. A mind shower. You go, shh, and you wash it out, and you're like, ah, yeah. you're fresh. Yeah, all the negativity, you can that's release good. it today. Yeah, and good. then uh, the next day is uh, a red day, which is a number one new beginnings day. So it's like, now you're starting fresh after releasing all of that number nine. In you have like a, a calendar based on your emotions, or like it's the same? Based thing? off of your birthday. Oh. Yeah, it's a book called, people always ask me about this, but it's a book called Colors and Numbers by Louise Hay, and she tells you how to break down everything. It's really easy. And people like how do you do math every day but it really is just goes in order so I don't do math every day it just goes in order and so how many fun. colors or like nine. Many, oh, nine. Mm -hmm. and you just rotate them every yeah, time yeah. Every night. so one is red two is orange three is yellow four is green and each has like a different like meaning for nine numbers it takes the thinking out of like picking having to clothes. pick it up yeah because yeah, yeah. that shit gets overwhelming yeah that's one of the main reasons why I don't, I don't even want to think about that shit or go out <laughs> I'm just like damn I can't wear my shorts <laughs> Does that mean you can't wear other colors? Because I noticed you're wearing like black. No, you can wear other colors, yeah. I mean, you can wear whatever you want. It's not gonna like hurt you if you wear a different color, but I just like to have a reminder of that color every day. And if I had a, a and it's more positive. shirts or whatever, then I would wear a pink shirt, but I don't really have a lot of pink. I don't have a lot of purple and I don't have a lot of pink. Um, but I have a lot of red and I have a lot of orange and uh, uh, black and white and stuff. It's cool to have like a daily reminder to be positive in a different way each yeah, time. Yeah, That's yeah. pretty cool. That's exactly. true. Yeah. And like green is a responsibility day. So like, you, like remember to pay all your bills, you know, go through your finances, organize all that stuff. It's more of- Oh, that's good, man. Yeah. Shoot the, it's shoot so the chart. Good, <laughs> I only have it, I have to have it on a system or else I get all scattered all over the place. Shoot the, fuck, I'm gonna fuck this up. Shoot the sh chart. <laughs> shoot shoot the you chart. the chart. <laughs> Give us the chart. I will. You take your, well, you want me to tell you right now? 
Yeah, I'll, I'll just get send it to you. I'll, I'll send you a spreadsheet. Oh, shit, I get a spreadsheet? Fuck you. Okay, add up your birthday numbers. That's uh -huh. it? 11. Four, 12. So just the month and day, not the year. Oh, 20. I think I know my number. I know oh, mine. Like nine. So oh, yours is nine? Seven. Wait, I need, I need a calculator. I'm stupid. Okay. I'm f so you narrow it down until it gets to, to one number. No, no, I know, but she's gonna tell us more. Huh? So 13 narrows down to four, because then you do the three plus one. Oh, yeah, oh so it's just a okay. single digit number. Yeah, you I narrow know. it all the way down. Or add it what up. do you mean narrowing it down? Add it up. So you go 11, 29 is your birthday, yeah. right? So one plus one from 11 is two. And then two plus nine is 11 over here. Uh -huh. And then two plus... 11 oh, is 13. See, you yeah. want my calculator? Then, 1 plus 3, because the 13, good. you know, uh -huh. the 1, one plus 3, three. is 4. So you're a 4. So you have to keep... I'm a 4-2. Oh, I'm a 4-2. So you're all pink, we're all pink tape. You have to keep going until it's Fuck. a single yeah. digit number? On JK, we were pink. All on my nails. You have to keep going until it's a single digit number? Yeah, keep going. So, yeah. me too. so what if, so I'm, wearing if I'm 4 pink. Yeah. is it 7? <laughs> it's 4, 5, four. 6, mm -hmm. 7. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you're 7? Are you going to start wearing colors too? With the way you do it. I don't have pink. You add it, you're, it's not a pink day for you. Oh, what is, what is, what is it? Well, you have to add that to the universal year, which is 2019. Oh, <laughs> so, 2 plus 1 plus 9. What? That's 12, so it's a three year for everybody. I already lost and then, 4 plus 3? Uh, yeah, 4 plus 3 for us, and then 7 plus 3 for Joe, which ends up being 10, which ends up being 1. So it's a one year for you, that's new beginnings, that's and red. Nine. It's a red year for you. I have one red t-shirt. All right. It's a 7. That. So, it's hmm? a red day. It's a 7. Uh, a seven year is um, transformation. It's a transformative year. <gasps> oh my god! Which reminds me, oh, I sorry, I got excited. But yesterday, I took a spirit animal quiz because. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank laughs> you. I love the direction this went. Are you a bird? <laughs> a no. chinchilla. So what's that transformation? Is Pur purple. It's it's like you know butterflies, I guess. That was my spirit animal. Butterflies? Yeah, Whoa. a butterfly was my spirit animal in the uh, quiz. But why? It's, what do I mean? Because she wanders all over the place. No, so oh, caterpillars means, turn into a butterfly. Yeah, so oh, it means like transformation here. and like trans. Uh, I thought it means because you're tight. Right? It's all linked. Oh. I know. Yeah, that's that's why that just like reminded me about that, and I got excited. Yeah. Um, but then it also means like that. I, I guess in my personality, I tend to be playful and very light, which I don't know about that. But it ends up being. We'll get like, tiff. Uh, she wrote herself. <laughs> no, the light part. <laughs> but yeah, Why, because so, you're heavy? Sometimes I feel pretty, pretty heavy. skinny, though. Yeah, maybe you're just in your cocoon. That cocoon is heavy, yeah. girl. You're going to yeah. break out of it. But you know what? I have been feeling my playful side come out more, like my old yeah. self. I've noticed it. Me too. And yeah, so like last night, it's really funny, and I was telling Casey when we Oh my god, did you turn off the lights again? And he went... <laughs> no. No, but uh, after I got out of the shower, I put like my towel on, and I was playing music. And then I felt like my teenage self again, where I started like dancing to the music and I was air drying my hair and I was just like, Whoa. Oh, that's tight. I was like, oh fuck, I forgot you this part of me. <laughs> like this that's side cute. of me. Yeah, the, the kid so part of you, good. like yeah. your, your inner child. Yeah, I lost her for a minute yeah. and now she's coming back. Where did she go? She flew oh, yeah. away like a butterfly. She and then now she's back. She was in her chrysalis. Her yeah. feelings were hurt. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, so then you're saying that, and I'm yeah. like, so it's a number seven year for all of us, us uh, three, and then that's the transformation year. And then so the month, you would add like the seven to the month, which is August, which is an error. No, is it August still? What yes. day is it? Yes, yeah. 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 August 29th. Yeah, so it's a um, eight month plus a seven, so that's 15. So it's a six month, which is an adjustment month. It's a navy blue month. And then next wow. month is going to be a triple seven for us because that's it's the seven month and then it's in a seven year. So it's the most oh. transformative month of the whole year. For all of us. Next month, money? Saturday? Three. Sa I mean, Saturday. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> September. <laughs> September is the most September is the most transformative month for us because it's it's a seven month and it's a, in a seven year, and it's the most like whatever your year is. So like for you, it's new beginnings. So seven. Uh, I mean, September would be the most new beginnings month for you. Like you. That sounds like it's awesome. Got, like double power in it. I'm gonna have a new beginning. Yeah. I always like beginnings, never endings. Yeah. I just keep always. Resetting. Well, this month is an endings month for you. Oh. Oh, yeah. shit. It's a letting go. A letting go number nine month. And I like to go to the bathroom a lot. Mm. Mm. 
Mm, that's good for your bowels. Well, that's cool. I, I like where this ended up, but yeah. we, just to remind everyone, we're yeah, talking we're about talking pink, about pink gel cells. We're still kind of talking about colors. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I guess the gel cells. So anyway, so then um, more about this article is that the prisoners feel that it's very degrading to oh, like be in a pink It takes cell. our manhood. Yeah. Is that what it is? Because right, they're like, ew, we're not girls. If they were secure they're in their sexuality. Adult, they said that it felt like it was a little girl's bedroom. But they don't even have rights, though. Yeah, I know. I know. How can they be so picky? Because they can't vote. They don't have. Because they're millennial criminals, dude. <laughs> I want to feel like, hard, uh, and I can't feel hard when I'm in this room. Even the criminals these days are just like, I, I don't know. This. Is I can't really shake to this color. <laughs> yeah. Really, but that's the point. They're being successful yeah. with it. Wait. So are they getting? Are they getting their voices heard? Well, so that's when they're saying that others are claiming that the association of color with femininity, femininity, oh my gosh, yeah. femininity? Yeah. That, yeah. That many ends? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Femininity. Femininity mm. and weakness is stereotypical, discriminatory, and sexist. So they're sexist criminals. Oh, shocker. <laughs> yeah. So then they're saying that uh, there was this we one- We don't want to look like a girl. <laughs> there was this one gender studies scholar who called the practice of keeping inmates in pink prison cells humili humiliating and degrading. Oh, fuck what? off. One gender studies scholar. One, oh, suck it. Yeah. I'm gonna go with whatever psychology says. If this isn't a lower aggression, I'm for that. Yeah, they did, they did say that it did. I can't be hard in these clothes, man. That's the point, fool. <laughs> We want you to not be hard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wonder what, how that would work here in like the LA prisons. I don't That'd know. That'd be cute. Oh, it's like all over the place. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wish they'd do but like- They're talking about Swiss prisons in particular. Right I want to see them do like um, group dance, like the Filipino prison. Ooh. They do a good job. What do they do? Yeah. They do like flash dance kind of and shit. And it looks good. It's really like choreographed. Like they'll do thriller and all kinds of stuff. It's they really, really like it too. It gives them a purpose, something yeah. to do, you know, like unity, like True. a team. And a creative outlet too. Yeah. People need that. Yeah.